Welcome back to Emuelic Masterclass. I'll be your host today, Emu Chicken. Do you want Emuelic on your Android box? In this video, we'll do that. Starting with our micro SD card, which we fake tested in a previous video, we'll insert this into our computer. We first need to know precisely what is in our Android box. When shopping online, we get a sense of what it is, but as one page hosts numerous products, we only know what it is once the product arrives at our door. We can check hardware information by using IDA64. Links are in description as always. Click download APK. The second file will be the terminal emulator. And the last, LibreElec reboot from Android TV. In our browser download list, we can drag these over to the microSD. And then eject. Boot up your box and then insert the microSD. If you have an app installer, you could use that, or we could use File Browser. We need to navigate to our microSD, and we need to install each one of these. So let's click one. If you get a security error, hit Settings, and then Allow Unknown Sources. Right click to get back, then try again. Now we should be able to install each one of these without being nagged. If successfully installed, we will see them on the menu. We'll first check IDA64. This is the A9 box. It was sold on Ali as an S905X with 2GB memory. If we check board and device here, we have P212, and in available RAM, we have 2GB. Here it states it can go up to 1.5GHz, and in display, we have a Mali 450. This should be enough information to go off, but we can check also in Terminal Emulator. Here we will type cat space forward slash proc forward slash device dash tree forward slash amlogic dash dt dash id. Once you finish typing this, you need to use the keyboard or arrows or whatever to move over to the enter button. Then push your enter. And we have a P212-2GP... A lot of 212s here. Let's remember that. Micro SD to the computer. We can conclude our checks on the DTB section of the Core Elec website. On the right, P2122G points to 905X. We need to decide which version of Emuelic we want. If you only have 1 GB of memory, you're in the 905 family, or you have a 912, then you should stick with 3.9. If you have more than 2 GB of memory, and a faster chip, like an X2, X3, then we suggest installing Emuelic 4. This runs a 64-bit architecture, so it needs more memory than Emuelic 3.9. It will, however, result in being quicker, and give more choices and what we can run. Then we need to choose the correct version of the image. The 905 family, including the 905X, will use this top option. If you have a 905X2 or faster, choose the NG variant. We will now download the image. Choose the one with generic.img.gz at the end. We're going to save it to the desktop. 
and also download our favorite banana etcher. Save the file, then run it. Okay, so we're gonna drag across the image file here and then select the target as the micro SD. Push select at the bottom and then flash. If you get this screen, press yes and then wait. If you have an error while decompressing, you may be running low on disk space, so empty your recycle bin. Please! Once the flash is complete, we can close this window, take out the micro SD, and then reinsert it. In Windows Explorer or something similar, go to MULEC. And here we need to change out the DTB file. If you can't see the file extensions, you may need to go to the top, View, and then check File Name Extensions on the right. Let's dive into the Device Trees folder. Here we have a load of DTB files. We need to find the one that suits us. We've seen this name before, P2122G. But to make sure, we'll check out the Core Elect Device Tree website. On the left, we have the brand and names of the boxes. But the most important things to take note of are SOC, which is the chip, and the RAM, which is the memory. The box I'm using here is the A9, which is not in the list. But 905X and 2G always points to the same file name on the right. So we can be sure that this is the one we need. So we find it, right click it, copy, go back into the root, right click here, and then paste. Now we need to rename this to dtb.img. So you can right click that, press rename. Select it all, right click, copy. Now we're gonna delete it. And now we can rename this file here. So right click, rename, select it all, right click, paste, and click away. If you get this, press yes. And now we're done. Right click on the MULEC, Eject, and now boot up your Android box once again. Once booted, insert your micro SD. And now click on Libre Elec. On the next screen, press Accepta. The box should reboot and load up MULEC. If you cannot do this, open up your terminal and write reboot space update. I should do the same thing. On the first boot, MULEC will start by setting up the partitions, installing some files, and after that you should be ready to go. From now on, whenever you turn on your Android box with this microSD in, MULEC will boot up. When no microSD is present, you'll get a face full of Android. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and that bell thing. Comments are also appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.